and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions. And today, we got another five star bronze character gameplay preview video, and it's Ted DiBiase Hall of Fame version, the statue. So, you know, nothing's gonna move on this outfit here. We just spin him around, do all kinds of fun stuff, but uh, throw a stone at it, it'll probably make a pretty loud noise because these statues are rock solid. Anyways, enough of that. Um,. So let's take a look at the poster here, guys. Uh, coaching ability, black moves that deal damage will deal 25% more damage at 12k. So uh, black move damage buff. It's got the Hall of Fame link, no special gears yet. And whatever this coming soon thing is here, whatever that is, keep seeing it everywhere. What's it all about? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, also, I forgot we usually go with the moves. And we'll say the pile driver is the four star move and the backbreaker is the five star move. So, first move set we're going to run today. Uh, this is a three star move set. And we got two green moves that are both six charge. Now, one of them is a vertical suplex deal 47,169 damage and choose a three by one area to make into X break gems. So, we get uh, make an area of X break. Then we got the scoop power slam. Also, six charge, deal 45k damage, and choose a 5x1 area to swap the loot gems. So you put down the X-Break, then you pop down the loot gems over the top of the X-Break, and that will blow up all the X-Break. Now, if you prioritize green gems in the diagonals from there, you can help recharge this move uh, while you do it every time, pending there's green gems on the board for you to find and break. Now, two ways to run this. I'm running with the Million Dollar Dream, 8 charge yellow submission, Choose four gems to make into loot submission gems and do 14, 328 damage for five turns. Uh, remaining sub gems will turn into protect gems of strength 16, 384. That's very defensive, all right? Um, you could go with the finisher, diving elbow drop, deal 92,000 damage, make all loot gems into wild card gems and pin the opponent. So, you could do that. Um, but I'm not opting to do that. I want to run with the sub, the sure, the more sure thing, take less damage. Uh, all that good stuff. So I'm running with George Steele. That's gonna get us turn two on the greens. Uh, I got AJ Zombie AJ on there to buff the sub to eight turns, and then I got Lacey for green and purple gem damage, uh, just because the X breaks are gonna be uh, breaking some areas. And then I got Triple H DX on here, uh, matching green gems charge moves of that color by one more point. In case we get a bad board after we hit the first one, if we don't have any green. Uh, one match will fill the move back up for us. So it just gives us another out. And uh, let's go over here to career. Let's change tour. I usually have this set already. Sorry. We're going to go find the Cascade King over here. And we're going to go at Vader like we always do. <clears throat> Even in talent. Nobody's got a strap. Nobody's got medals. And uh, I don't even have perks. The MLC just ended, so I don't think I have tour perks or nothing. I don't know. Yeah, if I had tour perks, that would have been turn one. So on turn one here, I'm either going to hit yellow to try and get my sub going, or I'm going to try and block him. So I'll take red away from him. <clears throat> now I can hit this. So first you want to put down the X-Break Gems. And you want to look for uh, green gems that'll go diagonal from here. So here I'll hit one, two, three. Uh, if I'm here, I got this one down here. Two, three, four. All right, we're going to do that. Now I can make a 5x1 into Loot Gems. There we go. Now my sub's charged off of that. And uh, the next turn, these moves will be ready to go again, looks like. Yeah, because they're one charge away. So let's go ahead, hit the sub. And remember, these are going to turn into Loot Boxes. So that helps. Oh, great. Say so it helps you get some extra loot boxes on the board, but it uh, looks like my boy Vader here is breaking them all on us already. 
But now, look at that protection. Now we're only taking one damage there. Helps us get ready to hit it again. We'll go right here. We're going to hit that. Bada boom. Reels champ in the room. How you doing? Nailed him. 167. Get up. Get up, son. No, but we got the protect gems down now. So look at that. Look at that. Actually really good. Actually really good. DX Triple H served no purpose there, guys. Uh, you could use whoever else for gem damage or gem reduction. That was just an instinct. Uh, say I... Only, there was no green gems on the board when I hit that, but then I blew up the board and a green match fell in. In that situation, Triple H would allow you to uh, fill your move up in, in one match there. So That's why I had him on there. In that situation of that match, we'd have been way better off with any other gem damage or gem reduction uh, coaches. So, Alright, let's go uh, do another build here. Let's go do another build. Let's get the finisher in here. Let's do something with the finisher. So we could go finisher sub, choose area to turn into yellow gems. Because that is only a six charge. Now, uh, what we haven't used yet is the belly to back suplex. One charge purple, deal 30k damage, and make seven random blue gems into loot gems. Board dependent though. Board dependent on there being blue to turn into loot. And with seven of them after the first turn, I don't know. Now, if you're running a strap and you got a flat purple move damage of 50,000, you're doing 80k a turn with just that move, regardless of anything else. So that would be pretty good. Um, the two by three into yellow, and then make all loot gems into wild card gems. That sounds kind of interesting right there, guys. There's so many options on this one. 2x3 into yellow. I mean, I kind of like that with the sub and the finisher, though, right? I kind of like I kind of like that setup right there. I'll do an extra move set today. This is what I feel good about right here. And then uh, then we'll just go try something off the wall a little bit. So let's just do that, and then we'll go ahead and just put DX Sean on there instead of Hunter. And this coach isn't much going to matter, because that 2 by 3 is going to fill those up pretty much. So I'll just leave Lacey on there for now. And uh, we'll try this one again. We will try this one again. DX Sean, thanks for coming in to coach for us, brother. Appreciate you. Alright, so we're hitting purple turn two no matter what. Uh, we could use turn one to block him. Because I don't think he's going to try to take yellow. But, yeah, let's do this. Because that takes away both those. And I dropped him in green anyways, you see. And he blocks me. What are the odds? I block him, he blocks me. Okay. Well, we got a cascade there. But it's fine. It's fine. The purple moves... By the time we need to use that purple move again, it looks like it's already going to be ready to go. This has got a good flow to it right here. Remember, we are choosing where we're going to put the loot boxes on this one. So I'm going to go close to the four corners. Close to the four corners, pretty much. Alright, he's not ready yet. I could just hit the finisher right now. All these loot boxes are going to turn into wild card gems. Let's do that. And... Ah! Hit him with it. 
depending on how many loot boxes are on the board, you could get a big one there. 148, not great. Not great, but we are ready. To, oh, he got green there. Now we got to be a little, a little particular here. We got to make sure we don't cascade this off of other gems. Like right here would be ideal for damage, but we're just looking for charge because I don't want to take that green move from him here. So sometimes we just be a little careful. Oh my. Man, he's really good. That submission's really good. Really good. I should have just broke purple there. Well, I guess that filled it up anyways. That's fine. Oh, look at that. All right, he's finally going to hit a move. He did get lucky. He, he, he When you get out of the sub and you get your match right away, you're going to get a little lucky. He got a little lucky. It's over for him now, though. I'm sorry, Vader. It's over for you. And that's it. Didn't even have to hit the finisher of the sub again. Sit down, son. Sit down. Two excellent builds already there. Two excellent builds already. This is pretty different stuff we're seeing here, too. I like to create loot boxes to do the sub. Uh, I like turning loot boxes into wild cards. Like, you never know how that's going to go. Bring some props that make extra loot boxes and go ham with that one. All right, let's heal up. Now let's just see... Let's just use uh, fun stuff here. So let's make blues into loot gems. Let's get rid of the sub. We might get we might get our butt kicked in this match. Let's just try some stuff out. And then what? Bonus damage for every loot gem? No. We didn't want to do that, right? How much bonus damage for every loot gem? Let's see. Let's let's put it in here and play with this for a minute. Does that affect the bonus damage? Okay, 12k for every loot gem. And it will buff the loot gems on the finisher for that. Okay. Now do I put Akum on here? Or do I go yellow move damage and just be a little slower? That's the real question. Akum puts that damage down turn one and puts me one match away from being right in line for the diving elbow drop, but I mean I could put the pile driver on to fill the finisher and leave woods and hit this then hit the pile driver then hit the finisher I don't know this seems fun though with Vince and that damage move Hmm. Or I could use the pile driver instead of the finisher. And just keep refilling the bonus damage for every loot gem every turn. I don't know. There's a lot of options. But uh, I do know that this ain't it right here. That's not going to affect the finisher? What? Is that just bugged? That's got to affect the finisher, right? Uh, 
I don't know. I imagine it is, but I don't want to waste your time or mine. So let's go for the faster one instead of the stronger one. Let's just get to it and see what a finisher is going to look like like this anyways. Let's just try that. Let's bring some props with, right? Let's bring some props with and have some fun. All right. I brought props with for this one. I don't know how this is going to work out. I just wanted to use all the moves for a change. So, uh, it might be good, might not be good, uh, probably won't be good, who knows. Uh, seven random blues into loots, let's do this. Okay, a lot of, uh, a lot of loot boxes there. Let's get that bonus damage here. Bah! Hit him with it. Oh man, that was kind of nasty, actually. That was kind of nasty. How many charge away are we? Five charge away from that finish still. We're kind of in big, big trouble here. This would be good against somebody who favored blue gems, tell you that. I'm going to go ahead and take that 30k. Sometimes them one charge moves ain't even worth doing if it does like 1,000 damage or something, but 30k is uh, pretty substantial. All right, this should be a good turn for us. Oh, yeah, I got an extra blue up there and an extra blue gone. And this is going to be some big damage right here. This moveset would be good with the right uh, strap build for sure. Oh, here we go. This one's over. This one's over, folks. This one's over. Wow, yeah. Bop! Bop! <laughs> Yes! And he's full again. Look at that. Diamond in the rough build. Make sure you stay till the end. Vader, thanks for coming. Have a nice day. Guys, that's all I got for you today. I'm sure there's some other builds you might want to see or try. Um, maybe you get them. Maybe you try it out for yourself. Or let me know down in the comments what you think. While you're down there looking around, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. It's the big red button. It says subscribe. You just click on it, and while you're down there, you drop an insane elbow right down on that thumbs up button for me, guys. It's free to you. It takes like two seconds, and it uh, helps me out tremendously. So uh, why wouldn't you do that for me? Anyways, I'll leave you with that, and until next time, guys, peace.